morning, friends. Today we're going to read The Pokey Little Puppies Special Spring Day, I think it's called. So I'm going to share my screen. If I got that right. Pokey Little Puppies Special Spring Day. Yes, that's a very long title, isn't it? So let's see what happens with the pokey little puppy. He's one of my favorites. One sunny morning, five little puppies went for a walk. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, and across the green grass, one right after the other. Along the way, they listened to the robin's chirp. Look, the cherry tree is blooming, cried the puppies. Springtime is here. When they got themselves to the top of the hill, they counted themselves. One, two, three, four. One little puppy wasn't there. Now where in the world is that pokey little puppy, they wondered. When they looked down at the bottom of the hill, there he was, barking at something on the next hill. I see something, Pokey called, a bright yellow kite. The other puppies saw it too. Over the hill they ran as fast as they could go. They found a group of children laughing and playing, flying their colorful kites high in the air. The happy puppy chased chase after the kites, Roly-poly, pell-mell, tumble-bumble. When the children went home for lunch, the puppies counted themselves. One, two, three, four. One little puppy wasn't there. Where in the world was the pokey little puppy? There he was, behind some pussy willows, sitting still as a stone. What in the world are you doing? The puppies asked. I hear something, said the pokey little puppy. The puppies listened, and they could hear it too. Neep, 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 neep. Oh, Pokey suddenly cried. Lots of tiny frogs were hopping here and there. But there weren't only frogs in the pond. Some turtles swam up with their babies to look at the puppies. And soon a proud mother duck appeared with her little ducklings. Quack, quack. Just then it started to rain. The frogs began to hop, hop, hop from one puddle to the next. Wee, cried the puppies. They jumped, ker-splash, into the puddles after the frogs. What fun. When the puppies shook off their wet fur, they counted themselves. One, two, three, four. One little puppy wasn't there. They soon found Pokey sniffing the air. What in the world are you doing, they asked. I smell something, said the Pokey little puppy. The four puppies began to sniff, and they smelled it too. Spring flowers, they cried. Around the bend they ran as fast as they could go until they came to a beautiful garden. There were pink hyacinths and white crocuses and yellow daffodils in bloom. Oh, how sweet and fresh they smelled. But that wasn't all the puppies found. Butterflies, they cried. The butterflies flew away, but the puppies didn't mind zigging and zagging ahead of them were some bunnies with puffy white tails. The bunnies led the puppies into the farmyard that had a chicken coop full of fluffy yellow chicks. After the puppies watched the chickens scratch around in the dirt, they counted themselves. One, two, three, four. One little puppy wasn't there. Where was that pokey little puppy now? I found something, they heard Pokey call. It was a beautiful Easter egg. Hello, puppies, said a little girl. We're having an Easter egg hunt. See how many eggs you can find. Off the puppies ran as fast as they could go to find the hidden Easter eggs. Soon they found one, two, three, four, five colorful eggs, and their little basket was full. Jump in, puppies, said the girl. I'll take you home. Wee, said the puppies as they bounced and bumped along in the little red wagon. That evening, as the sun went down, the puppies ate their Easter eggs for dinner. Then they curled up in their puppy pillows to go to sleep. But the pokey little puppy was the last to fall asleep. He couldn't stop thinking about his breezy, showery, hoppy, flowery, special spring day. <laughs> Sounds like they had quite an adventure, didn't they? They saw all kinds of things on their walk. It's a good thing that the pokey little puppy was paying attention. Yeah, he helped them to find all kinds of neat things to look at. All right, I hope you have a great spring day, friends. Bye-bye.